Welcome to the Waymo Gonzo Podcast. We are live on July 16th. Tuesday, July 16th. Dude. Get more specific here. 2024. Come to you with episode 116 in the house. I think that's it, right? We're 116. And yep. We're here. Oh, wow. Got to give a shout out to Paris Baguette. Yes. It's a fucking nice little bakery cafe down the strip mall from here. Shout out 50 West Brewery. 50 West Brewery. Oh, wait, this... Damn, I was thinking this was Mad Tree. I'm tripping oh, dicks. Shit. Shout out 50 West, though. Hey, that's down the road, too. Not a bad place. They got a little, like, weird <sighs> restaurant across the street <clears throat> from their, like, brewery and restaurant. They oh, got, yeah, 50W. It's like you want, like, corn dogs or fries, or do you want, like, a fucking meatloaf? Steak loaf? dinner. Yeah. They got options. Yeah, that was trippy. It was. It's a nice little place, though. It is. It is nice. Down there in Newtown. Man, a lot's been uh, rushing off this week. I'm sorry to the viewers, to the listeners. Unfortunately, our Nate is not here. Oh, no Nate today. It's not like a. It's not like a. He's no longer here. He's just not he's here. No this longer week. with us. Yeah, no, nah, he's just not here this week. He's down at the Red River Gorge in mm. Kentucky mm. with his booth thing, mm. renting a cabin during the week. So I thought that was pretty nice. You know, it's not just like a weekend trip. They decided, like, all right, we're going to go during the middle of the week. Use that PTO. Go get a cabin. A lot cheaper during the week. It's nice. Cabin, though. Mm. Hey, I'd just be in it for the fucking Buckies. They got Buckies out there? On the way down there. Richmond, On the Kentucky. Way down. Yeah, Buckies is nice. Bucky. Yep. A lot of shipping happening in the world. Jesus, man. So this is what we're going to start off with. This is what we're going to start off with. Uh, Man, I guess we should just jump right into the heart of this shit, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Talk about it. Trump. Number 45. Bam. Took a bullet to the ear. Bro, how fuck would that be? Like, if he just was dead right now, we'd just be fucked. Oh, the whole like, fucking, like, if the Democrats like, bro, succeeded. Bro, that's, that's what they had to do. Like, that's their only hope is to fucking kill Trump. Like, that's their wild card. Fail safe, that's it. But, yeah, I'll give the full context. I'm down there, fucking FC Arena, mm. TQL Stadium. Mm. And Cameron's like, hey, Trump got shot. Yeah, dude. And I was just like, what? And I was trying to search it up, but too many people on the internet, so I couldn't load it. So I'm like, damn, "Damn, Trump dead or some shit. Had to look it up. They were like, Trump good, Trump good. He got grazed or something. Yeah. And I watched the video a couple times. I actually just found out today. Somebody was trying to tell me he did not actually get hit by the bullet. They shot the fucking, like, protective glass or the something from the prompt reader or something. And the, the, the shrapnel Mm. ricocheted and clipped his ear. Well, either way, they're trying to take him out. Oh, yeah. And did you see and who it was? It was hope. like a 20 year old kid. That always is, ain't it? Dude, yeah. It some was like a 20 year old kid. And supposedly, like, the 20 year old kid had like a fucking simulator on his computer of like shooting Trump. Damn, it's kind of different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's fucking weird, though. Some place in Pennsylvania. I, know, just, I was just like, damn, he was that close to just being, you know? For it's real. like too close. Way too close. They could have just headshotted his ass and been like, boom, y'all are fucked. Dang. Four more years. It doesn't fun. even make sense, though. It's just like some 20-year-old kid. It's like, you're not even like for old enough to like fucking drink, bud. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, bud. I'm like, yeah, who the fuck knows? People are fucked up. Mental illness. It's, um, he probably got paid to do it by some fucking Damn. narcos or something. Yeah, some crazy Democratic fucking third party some biden supporters Mm. but uh yeah that could have like fucked the whole like situation up like damn like that's that's just goes to show you it's like if they killed trump it's like damn that's that's like america's fucked you know it's like that's it it was too close so we'll see how this election goes i think people are honestly giving more support than ever oh yeah now, now it's just like it's it's like now, even the hood him even the hood communities are like he took a bullet bro like, they used the 50 cent meme bro. 
for I've seen so many like album covers with Trump on them. Just and the, honestly, that was a badass thing to do. Like he got hit in the ear and he got up and was just like hyping up, like fight, fight, fight. It was kind of lit. That's what I mean. It's like, bro, dude. I was like, I was like, dude, that's my man right there. That's, Literally, that's my president, cocksucker. Because Biden gets hit with the fucking thing. He's on the ground pissing his pants, shitting in his diaper. He can't even ride a bike. I gotta just like show it. I gotta be Nate for the minute. Jeez, Nate, pull it up. I mean, but yeah, it's just like damn, bro. It was just a good ass picture, and you see like the flag in the background, dude. It's just like damn, he got the blood on his face. It's just like, bro, that's some patriotic shit. It right really there. is. It's like damn, he survived that shit. He fucking tried to take him out. You couldn't. That's crazy. Bro. Teflon Don cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> No, John Gotti or whatever the Biden, fuck. like, fucking, like, sent his condolences, like, Burr. fucking sorry about whatever happened. He's, like, reading the teleprompter and still can't get it right. <laughs> that guy's fucked. Every time he talks now, he fucks something up, dude. I mean, dude, it just, like, fucked me up because, like... And the whole world gets to see it. It's kind of a good thing. Dude, it was just such a weird vibe. Like, like it's just, like, what the fuck do you... Just yeah, like... like Trump I just got, got told, I'm like, what the fuck you mean Trump just got shot? Bro, I know. Bro, what? I was like, chill, chill. Because I thought he, like, got shot, shot. He was, like, fucked up. I'm like, damn, it's got over now. The That's yeah. their only hope. They had to take him out. But that shit was crazy. Yeah, dude. So I feel like he's getting even more support just for this. So this is, like, his campaign is, like, take a bullet. That's Bro. his campaign. Or, like, like, fucking there was all planned. Just to like shit. even get the fucking Democrats Bruh. to support him too. <laughs> Could have been like I thought of that shit too. I'm like, what the <laughs> shit? Like, I don't you know how care. like crazy like business shit is. Like, Bruh. like you know what I mean? He's like, I'm gonna do it, guys. Yeah, it's you know time. fucking business methods or like business Bruh. layouts, business fucking whatever's I like. Know. I thought of it too. Honestly, I wouldn't <laughs> care either way. Like, like but we like, talked about like the rap beef, like fucking Drake heck. and fucking Kendrick. Mm -hmm. It's like. That shit was just, like, fucking a good business fucking thing. In a way. Yeah, it's just, like, this it is a like part of it. It seemed, too cool to be true. Like, how he was just, like, got up right after it was just, like, fight, fight. He just got the <laughs> blood on him and shit. He's just, like, yee. <laughs> so the hoods, they're hyping they're up for hyping Trump. They're hyping up because they're, like, Bro, 50. Look, he got put on the fifth. He got a mug shot. He's in court. He's on trial right now. He got shot, and it's, like, Oh, they that. dropped all this shit mm. after this happened. For real? Yeah. Dang. They dropped I don't know how all. true that is, but... I thought that I read that. Night, it up. Right. No, that's cool. I mean, we'll just... Whatever. But, like... Yeah. I don't see how you can't like the guy, you know? Oh, exactly. And it's then like, when you look at the other guy, you're just like, fuck's sake. Fuck, are we just give, us, this? just give us something. This guy can't even talk. Yeah, so we kind of look like a joke right now as a country, as a whole. But it gets even better, though, right? So, then yesterday, the news comes out and says now, J.D. Vance from Middletown, Ohio, will be Trump's vice president. Mm -hmm. Trump chose J.D. Vance. Kind of makes sense. He's, just like, he's one dang. of the top picks. Yeah, I'm just like, dang. Now we getting makes a Cincinnati sense. boy Bro, to be a vice president. Put someone from Ohio on in that the map. Boot. Put him in the map. <laughs> And he started out as a Trump hater, but then he he converted real quick. But yeah. Oh yeah, he converted. So even real some quick. Republicans are like, "Fuck JD Vance." Oh yeah. But fuck it. Exactly. I don't know dick about shit, so I'm like, as long as Trump's in, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it could be fucking <laughs> Tupac as his vice president, Kanye. I don't give a fuck. Kanye actually did run, bro. That shit's crazy. Yeah, Kanye's a joke. Stick to music, yay. Yay. But yeah, it was crazy. So like, I, I I bring us back, right? Like, you know where I found out about this. So this past Saturday, I went down to Belterra, and for those of you who've never been down there, you know this was my first time too. Belterra in Indiana, not just the racetrack over there off Kelloggy, and uh, and it was uh, it was a good time. I, we we fucking golfed. It was celebrating Hurley's twenty seventh birthday. We had a bunch down there. You know, we had Gagers. We had Danny. Okay. We had fucking Randy. Randy. We had fucking, fucking Hornsby. White. 
No, Wade didn't make it down. Damn. Wade's uh, yeah, he's, he's on he a hard time. He was yeah, having some hard times. We had Newman, Townsley, and uh, yeah, Hornsby, some couple other guys. Yep. So mm-hmm. it was uh, it was crazy, man. We got down there after golfing and shit. We fucking came back up, showered up, and then uh, went and got food and inside the casino and. I'm telling you, that was actually probably, like, the most closest thing to Vegas you can get without going to Vegas here within this, Dang. like, an hour ride of Cincinnati. Like, I'm being so serious. Like, having a room there and, like, everything you can do at that resort, it's fucking sweet. It really was because it's, like, it ain't, like, you know, fucking dumb hard rock. It ain't just, like, Hollywood. It was, like, dude, there was a lot there. It's a big-ass place, and... I mean, we fucking gambled from, I want to tell you, probably about, like, 7 p.m. till about 4 a.m. Oh. And, uh, you know, we took, like, a break in between, but, like, I smoked about two cigars. I mean, mm. we just kept playing, team playing slots. I, I only brought about six zeros down, so only, I pounded them motherfuckers. Only six zeros. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, no, I was drinking coffee. Ooh. I was fucking having a good time. I mean fluctuating right fluctuating we're we hit on a couple big slots we hit like 860 on one slot together team playing we hit like another 400 team playing on another one we hit another 300 on another one and then uh you know i fucking uh i was i was down so i brought like 500 dollars with me down there right which is a lot for a one night trip down there you know but i wanted to have some money to fucking play with that was like I'm going to come down here. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to play. So I got down to about $300 out of the 500. I take my I take 100 out of the 300. So I had 200 in my pocket. Put 100 in the electronic roulette machine in the electronic roulette section. I turned that fucking uh 100 to fucking uh uh what was it? Uh 395 100 to 395. Turned it, fucking made almost three hundred dollars. Just betting fucking thirteen through twenty four, twenty five through thirty six, two to one, two to one. Red snake, just flipped it. I was betting like thirty dollars every fucking bet, thirty to thirty five bucks. Turned it, yeah. Turned the hundred to like three ninety five, and then uh, oh, then I lost the hundred playing high limits with Jordan. He put a hundred in, I put a hundred in, and then Jordan went to a blackjack table, fifteen dollar minimum, Jeez. and uh, Hurley ran it up. I mean that motherfucker uh, put a hundred dollars down. He turned it into like, uh, fuck, I think like five hundred or something. Ah. He made like four hundred off that table. Yeah, I, I put a hundred into a ten dollar blackjack table. I turned that hundred to like one hundred seventy. I made like seventy off that blackjack table. And then yeah, we kept playing it. So everyone like kind of left, you know, went to the room, and. Uh, me and Jordan fucking Geegers, we fucking were trying to walk out, and we were like, all right, let's put fucking 20 in this the one. Ringer, please. We were trying to put 20 in this one and shit. And uh, we put 20 in another one. We're walking out of the casino, hit for like 120, whatever. Fucking off of our like fucking 60 together. Cashed out, took our fucking extra 40 each, mm. put another 20 into another one, hit for another fucking like 200. Damn. Took that out, put in like another 20 into another one. This is at like 3 a.m. After the slots have been fucked all night, you know, been taking people's money. Man, we just kept playing. We just kept fucking playing and playing and playing. Finally got to like 4 a.m. We were fucking up. I was up like $195. And uh, so I had like fucking almost 700 in my pocket. I'm like, damn, yeah, you know what I mean? I brought 500 in here. I got like 700 now. I'm like up 200. I'm like, I'm cool. Hurley's like, I'm up like 500. I'm like, he's cool. Giger's like, I can pay the Wi-Fi this month. I'm cool. (laughs) That's all he cared about. Bro, for real. So we fucking, yeah, we we fucking, we were done. But, yeah, that's when I got told about that Trump shit. I was playing roulette. I was flipping that 100 to 395 mm. on electronic roulette. And, uh, yeah, Hornsby just comes up out of nowhere because he drove down separately. He was down at Green Acres prior while we were golfing. And he's like, dude, Trump just got shot. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I had to, like, holler out Tyler. Bro. I was like, Tyler, Trump. Hey, when people just, like, read something and then just spit it back to you, like, yeah, Trump got shot. <laughs> They don't give you, like, the details. Like, it grazed his ear. He's okay. Just like, yeah, Trump got shot. But, yeah. 
that's just me. I don't like spreading fake news. Fake news. But yeah, it was a it was a damn good time. I woke up the next morning, right? Down there on Sunday morning, Belterra. I woke up at like nine thirty. We had to be out of there about like eleven. Mm. And so like uh I took forty five dollars out of that six ninety five I had and uh so I left six fifty in the room. I was like, All right, I'm gonna take this forty five down there, see what I can do with it. You know what I mean? I was like, That's profit. I lost Itching. it. Yep. Lost it. I was like, fuck. I didn't feel like going up the room. I got a hundred out of the ATM. <laughs> I turned that I got that hundred uh, out of the ATM with the blackjack, turned it back to like uh like one sixty or whatever. And uh then I left. I was like, all right. So I made fifteen dollars in like the fucking thirty minutes I was downstairs. Mm-hmm. And so then I left and I ended up leaving like two hundred up fucking at, and then Bob Breakfast, we came back to Cincy. And, uh, yeah, so it was just a damn good time. It was literally like a mini Vegas, dude. It was a good fucking time. And I also signed up for the Boyd Rewards. So, like, all the slots we were playing and shit, I kept putting my card in. So, like, we, mm-hmm. I got the points from all of it. Dang. Supposedly, my parents were telling me, like, they, they comp rooms down there real easily. You just got to call down yeah. there and say, I'm a Boyd uh, Rewards Club. Dang. You say your number or whatever and be like, would you guys be willing to comp me a room for me to come gamble? And then they're like, yeah, 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 because that's what they're, like, taught to do. So it's real easy for them to comp you a room down there. It's only, like, an hour drive, so I might try to do that here mm-hmm. soon. But definitely, Gamblers Anonymous. Yeah, I mean, instead of going to Vegas, because I won't be going out there until 25, so I'm like, fuck, you know. But real good time. Real good fucking time, dude. I'm like, damn, dude. Mm-hmm. Crazy shit. That's pretty good. You didn't go broke. No, I was grateful. I mean, it ended up paying for my golf. Oh, that was the other funny story. So, uh, fucking guess how much golf was per person? $125. Fucking expensive Mm. as shit. Course was beautiful and shit. I mean, we were falling behind at like hole 11. The ranger had to come up to us and was like, you guys need to get going. There's like a threesome on our dick. And we're like, mm-hmm. bro, I had to rush from like 11 to like 14. I was pissed. Mm-hmm. I was sucking. But, uh, hey, it was like 125. And I fucking like was looking on the internet. And uh, I was like, before the round started, because like I knew when we were driving down, I was like, it was 125. I was looking up like Belterra golf discounts, this, that, yada. And so I read on a golf forum, it was like, just say you know Ty, and the guy will give you a discount. T-Y. Mm. And I literally fucking went up to the guy, like, after, like, fucking Giger's already paid, and fucking mm-hmm. Townsley already paid. And I uh, I went up to the guy, I was like, yeah, Ty's got me a discount. And he's like, oh, I got you. And he took $25 off, and it cost me 100 I, like, had the receipt. And Jordan and them were like, bro, what the fuck? That career like... <laughs> For <laughs> work, I, I just said I know twenty five. Yeah, I was like, damn. So yeah, paid for my golf, paid for my food I had down there. It was a great fucking time, good man. Time. It good was time. a damn good time. Yeah, it got that itch out of me. I'm now I'm like, dude, I don't need to gamble. I'm good. I'm good. That's good. But uh, yeah, and uh, so man, we got some shit in the other news going on though. This is some uh, Other news. Cincinnati news. Ooh. Cincinnati news going on the Raleigh family. Oh, yeah. No one talks about that, huh? No Let's one. Let's put it on the map. Let's put, put it, it on, on the, the table. table. Trying to cover it up. Yeah. So, man, there was a Facebook post that came out about a week ago, right? And, uh, you know, I seen it floating on the Internet. And I was really kind of confused by it or whatever, and looked up this woman named Andy, put it up on the news or on her Facebook, and it got like over 4,000 shares and over 900 comments and said, let's make this guy famous. Not for anything cool either. He beat on a 76-year-old woman and her husband, landing them in the hospital because he didn't want the police called because he hit these elderly elderly people's vehicle. He thinks he's above the law. Because they were drunk probably. Yep. So there was video footage and shit. So supposedly the son... Uh, was driving the parents and the family car hit this elderly couple's vehicle and the elderly people were like what the fuck the son gets out 
and just fucking laid them out on the ground in front for of the no Montgomery reason. and Boathouse. Yeah, for no as reason. Fuck. And uh, then, so the meteorologist he let here his in Cincinnati. His thoughts win on that one. Oh, just yeah. laid out some 80-year-old fuckers. And then the fucked up part is it was all on video, and then the meteorologist here in Cincinnati, the Steve Raleigh dude, he, uh, he was holding the elderly couple's son back from trying to fight Kyle. And uh, then supposedly when uh, the police like were called or whatever, because they didn't want the police being called, mm-hmm. they saw the license plate of the Raleigh family's vehicle was owned by Lee, Lee, Lee something, Lee, Sy, not Lee, Sy, <laughs> uh, whatever, Lee, something, Lee, something. He used to be like the sheriff of Cincinnati. Oh, Lee of Sims. Hamil- yeah. Mm. Hamilton County Sheriff. Park. Yeah, I don't know if it's Lee Sims. Lee, Lee something. Lee Sims on the Lee beat. Scion or something like that. And, uh, yeah, so then they were like, oh, no, nah, we're not fucking with this. Because I was like, the sheriff, too much political shit going on. So it got swept under the rug and Facebook brought it back. And over, like, 4,000 people fucking shared this shit over on Facebook. And uh, now, supposedly, like, the meteorologist, like, stepped down, retired. The news place is like, we're not saying anything. And, yeah, like, the fucking people got laid out on the ground. (laughs) So fucking, some pretty fucked up shit going on there. Yeah, the fucked up part is... um that they've just been covering it up, and it's obvious because he's the weatherman, and he's like paying the hush money to all the news people in the city, and it's like, I guarantee most people don't even know about it. It's just like some underground Facebook shit. Oh, and now it, it actually finally came out on CPO. Really? Oh yeah. CPO uh, came out and finally dropped something about it. Whether criminal charges should be filed. This case involves some names and faces you probably recognize. Ken Brown joins us now with what the family who was injured in all this is asking from police. Now, so we met with the Morrows and they're returning outside of the Hamilton County Courthouse this afternoon and they say they're happy with how the investigation is progressing, but they do want an apology. This is the moment Cincinnati police are investigating. The camera angle isn't great, but you can see a pair of white shoes fly into the picture. And by the time the chaos calms, you can see two people on the ground. We now know the couple on the ground is in their 70s, and they're Douglas and Lois Martin. Mm. This all started with a minor car crash just outside Montgomery Inn and escalated into what you see in the video. The Morrows say someone who was not inside the vehicle came over to try and exchange information. He said, I'll tell you how this is going to happen. We're going to exchange insurance. I said, you can do whatever you want to. I'm calling the police. Yeah, they didn't want the cops there. I said, no, I'm not moving my truck. And then that's when... It was just kind of a jawing back and forth, and seconds later, I hear from a distance, no one's going to hit my dad. I look this way, someone coming from this way, clocks me in the side of the head. I stagger back, he dives on me, he's on my throat, with both hands choking. Cincinnati Police's incident report currently on file says the suspect in this case, whose name was redacted on their report, punched someone in the head Why was it and knocked to the ground. And when two others came to his aid, the suspect struck them and shoved them down. Lois suffered a concussion and a head injury. When I hit that pavement, I was gone. I don't know anything else that happened. I woke up two days later at the hospital, scared to death because I seen all the blood. The crash report says this all unfolded on June 22nd. Since then, Cincinnati police tell us they've turned this over to their investigators, who were told are still in the midst of that investigation. We have an obligation to thoroughly investigate all reported offenses, as currently being done by our highly trained investigators at this time in this case. No two cases are the same. Some investigations take longer. That's all dependent on the number of victims, the number of witnesses that need to be interviewed, and the evidence um, that needs to be sorted through. That's what's currently being done. This is an ongoing investigation, and we have to allow our investigators time to conduct that thorough investigation. Adding a level of 
complexity to this mm. case for CPD is not everyone involved lives here in the tri-state. In fact, former baseball player Kevin Euclid was one of the people seen in the video. He said in a Facebook post that he was out to dinner with his agent and ran over to see if he could help defuse the situation, but called what he witnessed, quote, a horrible chain of events, end quote. At this time, there are no charges in this case. In the video, you do see local television meteorologist mm. Steve Raleigh interacting with those we know to be involved in the crash and altercation. His involvement beyond that is not clear based on the information released in CPD's mm. report. However, WCPO confirmed in a statement posted on its Facebook page that this involves a relative of Steve Raleigh. The CPO statement also said that Raleigh's, quote, account is consistent with the police report, which does not name him, end quote. We reached out to Steve and have not heard back. Yep. Yeah, that's all I need to hear. Relative of Steve Raleigh. It's like they're doing everything to tiptoe around it. Mm. We got the fucking video, cocksucker. We know it was you, Kyle. We know it was you, Kyle. So anyways, that's... Yeah, that's just like some... Up. That's just some bullshit. You can tell, like... What what other investigation are they being cautious about? Yeah. Usually, usually it's like, nah, he shot him, they shot them, yeah. You're going to jail. Now it's like, nah, we got the video, but it ain't enough. You know yeah. what I mean? The Raleigh's might have been involved. They might not. A relative I've heard or other some shit. shit saying that the the Montgomery and Boathouse security footage disappeared. Disappeared unknowingly. Yeah. But there was a old lady, seventy six year old, knocked unconscious, had a concussion, fractured skull, bleeding on the brain, contusion on the back of her head, stapled shut, mm. and the lens that was put in her eye was detached and needs replaced. She has lots of cuts and bruises. There's a video of a man charging at her, but it we don't know who it is, but it looks like a relative of Steve Raleigh. We just don't know for sure. It's just like, how does this shit unfold? Because the guy said he wanted to call the police, the old man I read, because exactly. he said he smelled alcohol. That's why the Raleigh's didn't want the cops to come, because yep. there was alcohol. And mm. There probably would have been a DUI involved. Hmm. And now look, now instead of a DUI, you got your fucking son like beating the fuck out of two old people. <laughs> and now you got to cover that shit up. And the truth is seeping out because we got the video right here, you cocksucker. I was pretty weak. I was reading through the Sonny comments. Sonny with a chance shit. of cocksucker. <laughs> I was reading through the fucking comments on the post. And some motherfucker just commented their address. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, bro, I've seen pictures of the house just in the comments. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, we're going to find these fuckers. It's like, fuck, we know where you at. Bro. The yeah. comments were fucking bold. There was some no, real hatred some going ones. through them comments. I mean, but it's uh, understandable. Oh, yeah. Even from hearing that shit you just Dude. played, it's like a relative of Steve Raleigh. It's an ongoing investigation. Gation. We don't know what really happened. happened. It's just all a bunch of fucking bullshit. Oh, him, co power. him trying to cover up the, every, all the tracks. It's like too late. It's on Facebook. Facebook. Too oh, late. Everybody knows the truth's coming out, bub. <sighs> Don't look good. Now you look even shittier because you hit it. Don't look good. Mm. That's fucking crazy. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't crazy. know why his th his son thought that was like a good idea to just be like, all right. I'm going to just hit these Beat old the people. Fuck out of these old <laughs> like, people. <laughs> how is that going to end well at all? <laughs> they want to call the cops. We just want to exchange insurance. No. Nope. That's it. Nope. No That's cops it. involved. Ain't you the weatherman? <laughs> he heard that shit and was like, we got to go. <laughs> so yeah, here you go. Kyle Riley works at Wells Fargo. So studied at Ball State University. You know? And he'll gobble on a few of those. Yeah, and then since then, too, Steve Raleigh's deleted his social media. Mm. Mm. Probably getting a lot of backlash. Mm. No wonder why. It's a sad day. Jeez, at least Fox 19 kept it real. Oh, They're Fox like, 19's like, oh, we'll <laughs> like, put it you out there. Bitch. <laughs> I mean, think of it's like news beef. It's like CPO versus fucking 19 versus Channel 5. It's what like channel is he on? CPO? Nine. nine. Channel yeah. 9. Yep. Fox 19 was like, I don't think nah, so. No, they're Cops like, we <laughs> <laughs> we're reporting this shit. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Fuck, That's some good shit. <sighs> Crazy. 
It feels Absolutely. good when when the rich people try to like cover some shit up, but the truth gets out. Oh yeah, it's like you can't fucking protect yourself forever with that money, cocksucker. Mm. You can know a million people in high places, but if you're on Facebook, it don't matter. It don't matter whatsoever. You got a video of of it happening, damn near. I mean, you see the guy running at the old people, but they're already fucking on the ground, assed out in the video. So, but pretty shitty. How they try to cover that shit up. It's just like, how does that even happen, though? It's like, bro, what the fuck? You're just going to fuck some old people? Bro, I know. Like, what was his thinking? What like, how drunk motive? you got to be yeah. to be like, I'm going to fuck these old people. <laughs> He's doing bumps in the boathouse bathroom. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, Because I know Stevie does some bumps himself. Bro, for real. Hangs reason. around in, you know, strip clubs. I ain't stupid. We all exactly. know. Exactly. His wife probably gets tag teamed by the crew, so it's all good. For real. Something's going on. But yeah, and this ain't even no defamation. We got a video proof right here, sir. We'll send it. They but got yeah. it. that ain't getting deleted either. <coughs> Once it's on nah, the it's internet, it's up. there forever. Still up, still getting shared. Yet, I, yet I think like most people don't even fucking know about it because they tried to cover it up so well. It kind of worked. Yeah, we'll have to follow up with that, see what happens. Yeah, it makes me want to be on some underground investigation shit. Like, what else are these people hiding? Mm. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm sure they're uh, not sleeping too well at night right now, so. That's all, that's all you can do is just, you know, let God do his peace and mm. fucking the truth will come out. Yeah, buddy. I wonder if he's been back on TV since that shit happened. Oh, I don't think so. They're probably just like, yeah, Steve's taking No, nah, I a heard break. that he uh, retired. Retired? He resigned. After that? Mm-hmm. Dang. Is this some more fake news? I got to fact check this one. No, nah, that's what I heard. I heard that he resigned. Yeah, I know you heard it. You can hear a lot of shit. Steve Raleigh resigned. Yeah, that'd be some bitch shit. Weatherman faces calls to be fired. Damn. Yep. Daily Mail's even doing shit about it. New York Post. <laughs> New York Post got saying. it. Bro. bro, it's too late. The now. New York Post got it even. Bro, I didn't Google this shit yet. All right, Cameron's, Popular Cameron's got another um, unfact-checked report. Steve Raleigh did not resign. You really did not resign. You know, I really like when people just take shit they hear and put it out there. That's why we need Nate here today. Yep. But he did not resign, but he could be fired. Now the video is on New York Post fucking <laughs> YouTube channel <laughs> with about 19K views, so... Says veteran WCPO forecaster Steve Raleigh was with sons Kyle and Carter when their Cadillac Escalade plowed into a Ford F-150 after failing to yield to oncoming traffic. Mm. Moments later, the Ford driver Douglas Morrow, 79, was on the ground next to his wife Lois, 76, who suffered a fractured skull, yada yada. The Cadillac is owned by the weatherman's father-in-law, former Hamilton County Sheriff and Attorney Simon L. Lease, Jr., and pressure is growing on Cincinnati police to explain why there have been no arrests since the June 22nd incident, which also saw an intervention from Red Sox legend Kevin Euclid. There were locally famous people, and in my opinion, believe they are above the law, wrote the couple's daughter, Stacy Morrow Stickrod, who posted the video. I 100% believe one more hit would have killed her. Hmm? I'm surprised she didn't die. To be honest, then you would have really Carter been Raleigh, 28, is thought to have been <clears throat> driving his grandfather's car when it hit the Murrow's car in the lot of Montgomery and Boathouse on Riverside Drive. They even got the transcript. Oh, dude, they even, like, dude, they got all the sh <laughs> I just want all the witnesses to come forward in any videos that were made because there were lots of witnesses. Yep. Dang. There's even a dude in the video, like, capping on his son for wearing a Red Sox hat or some shit. Jesus. Like, go back to Boston. They got all their, like, pa their family's photos on here. He's, like, fucking, like. <laughs> tripping like he thought he was bro, like <laughs> what day was that on like a friday what day of the uh, week was that shit it was on a fucking 
I mean, June twenty Saturday. Yeah, he thought like I'm gonna wear my Hawaiian I'm shirt, sure. go to the yeah. boathouse with the family. We're oh, here, get here drunk. it is. This is how you know there's some paying off under the table fucking mm-hmm. bribery. A manager at the boathouse told City Beat that the restaurant does not have security footage of that area of the parking lot because a camera was not operating at the time. Mm. Hey, of course, the footage is gone, too. You How know convenient. I mean? Yeah, the footage, the camera just wasn't working How much does Steve pay for that to be all? Shit. Half a mil. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wired from an offshore account. He's just, like, pissed at his son now. Oh, like, yeah. You fucked my career, boy. <laughs> New York Post Daily Mail. Sure. Fuck. Oh, that's where I saw it on a Reddit post because I got updated on a Reddit post. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it said uh, here, right here. Just heard through the grapevine he resigned from WCPO this morning. Can anyone confirm? No one can confirm. Nope. Oh, yeah. I don't understand how his son wasn't arrested that night at the time. Still not arrested. At the least, he should have had a DUI and arrested for assault. Any saying. other person in Cincinnati acting like that would exactly. have been. That's it's an obvious cover-up. I hope that family obvious. owns the Raleigh's when they are finished with them. Well, they're going because to. Because his grandpa was Simon Lease. Steve is married to Sai's daughter, and their vehicles are registered in his name. So when the plates get run, they get a pass. Huh. Oh, Ain't man. that funny. <laughs> Rich people trying to get off. Yeah. Yep. It's fucked up, dude. That's fucked Bro, that up. That was like the sloppiest cover up ever. It's just like <laughs> our cameras don't work. We don't know shit. Bro, but when you're on the New York Post, you're fucked. It's like worldwide. Well, when man. there's a video, you can't really say much. It's like, well, we saw what happened, bub. Oh, bro, they're just fucked now. <laughs> they are fucked. Good job, Kyle. Wonder what John is saying about it all. He's like, dude, they didn't do nothing, man. Dude, you guys got it all wrong. They're good people. Gee. They were just caught up. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, those are the Fritos. I don't like the Fritos. You want Fritos? I'm yeah. in the mood to crunch on something, but I don't know. Dang. Yep. So that was the cover up of Cincinnati. Yep. That shit happened almost a month ago, and we're just now hearing about oh, it. Oh, yeah. That's how long it takes when it gets covered up. Mm. I just thought it was funny. The boathouse's security camera right. wasn't working that yeah. night. <laughs> yeah, but if I'm out in the parking lot taking a piss it's, on something. Oh, you'll get a decency, public indecency. Oh, tour. yeah. The camera's working that oh, night. Oh, yeah. The camera's working that night for sure, cocksucker. <laughs> Oh, my Benz got stolen by a valet. The camera was working that night. Damn. Just makes you wonder, all these rich people, how many freebies and shit they get away with. Oh, yeah. All day. All day you long. Never, you don't even know. There's probably so much shit we never heard. Oh, and never think about it even on. beyond our Cincinnati city. Insane. Everywhere. Some real scum and bribery out there. Oh, yeah. Real mafia, too, where you, like, mm. start to get arrested at a traffic stop, and you're just, like, it's, like, the time's ticking, it's, like, mm-hmm. bribe, it's, like... Ain't so easy when you're on TV every night, bud. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's some people tapping in now. They didn't hear about it either. They're just like, what's this shit? So there you go. Gave you the full report. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty fucked, the whole license plate thing. You know, if if they ring your plates, it comes up as the fucking sheriff. They're just like, he's good. He's good. He might be drunk, but he's, <laughs> he's good. cool. And that's probably why there was such a big fucking issue is because they were probably drinking and driving. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. just good. You know they're alcoholics. Mm. Oh, shit. I remember cutting grass at their house for fucking old mm. ball. Yeah, that mom would come out and bring me and Nick beers all the time. Mm. Corona's in a back. Damn, that's oh, not bad. For real? She would. With lime? Oh, yeah. That's not bad. She for real did. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Yeah, that family's had some dark clouds over it. The oh, past yeah. couple years. So it's some, some shit's going on. You never know what's <laughs> going on with their organization they started, too. Mm-hmm. Might be a tax write-off or something, you know? 
covered. You, you never know. Yeah, wandering. Covered up his daughter's suicide. You know, <laughs> said it was some other shit. Yeah. So you never know. A lot of covering up. There's a lot on. of shit. Their their whole entire operation is mm. going to be investigated. Dang. That's Dang. a it's a scary place to be. All I know is I've been in their house and it just smells like cat piss. That's <laughs> all I know. That's all I know. All I know is their landscaping was just always stupid. They they had all this money to do crazy shit, but they never put wanted to have their landscaping Bro. done nicely. I don't think they give a fuck about that house. They didn't get. They're two never shits. even home there. Oh, they're always on like some exotic shit. Exactly. Exotic. Oh yeah. But yeah. It's kind of cool. It's like, yeah. Some real Truth shit. Is coming now. Yeah. It's just like a chain of events. Just some crazy shit happening lately, man. Mm. We just got to. I know. It's like, what's next? What's next now? <laughs> mm-hmm. As long as it ain't us, I'm cool. Oh, yeah. I'm just chilling being background music oh, right now. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm just literally elevator music at this point. I'm just like, damn, I'm just real vibing. It's like, go work out. Go to work. That's it. Uh, yeah. Go down Belter occasionally. Whatever. Dang. It's like I'm just smoking cigars gambling. Fuck you. Mm. <laughs> What's mama cooking tonight? Ain't no telling. Mm. Ain't no telling. I might get some to-go orders from the Korean barbecue or some Jeez. shit. Jeez. That no, sounds good. I know. I ain't ate shit. Someone's out there finagling with the door. I can hear it. But yeah Reliable reports on the city of Cincinnati Coming to you live What else is going on in this world? <clears throat> Man, other chain of events occurring I mean, fuck We got, uh Let's see, more local or global? Should uh, Probably local better yeah, local, I mean, it looks like, uh, you know, your usual couple shootings, yeah. random shit like that. Nothing. Uh, um, you know what I mean? Like I said, fucking uh, Trump picked his vice president, a local. Mm. J.D. Vance from Middleton. Middletown. Middleton. Middleton, something like that. Yeah, I mean, there's... Greatest celebrates their 154th birthday. Dang. I might go out to the open mic just to tell people, like, y'all hear the Steve Riley story? Dang. Yep, yep. It's a hard-ass picture. I think I think Joe Rogan has talked about these. So my buddy Ben, he, uh, he bought these. He's been trying to take, like, a week, like, nicotine break and shit at a time. Like, he takes a break off nicotine for a week. Mm-hmm. He's been buying these nootropic pouches. They're called Alpha, fully loaded. I swear I think, like, Joe Rogan has talked about these before. Mm, Maybe. They have, like, lithionine in them and, like, some, like... It's like vitamin pouches. You just suck on them. They taste good. Nootropic. Yeah. No (laughs) nicotine in them. Just, like, a hard picture for all of you. Yeah. I don't know. It's not really, like, an alternative because you're not getting any of the effects of nicotine, but... No. It does boost your memory and your thinking, so I don't know. There's that, probably made by the Alpha Brain people. Who knows? On it, we don't know. Gee, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, everyone's getting addicted to the pouches. They're pretty cool. You know, I'll do like one a day or something. But when they're gone, it's like, I need another pack. I need pouch. something else now. I need another pack of pouch. Mm-hmm. Get you. They're good for like car rides. You just put one in and just mm. put some music on. That's all I like them for. But yeah, haven't been fucking with cigarettes. Those fuck me up heavy. Take oh, more, yeah, take more than two you. hits off a of cig. I'm like brain dead, tweaking and dizzy. You know. But yeah. Oh yeah. It's just. I don't even know what's happening. This room's got my brain melting or something. Fans are off. That's why. No, nah, it's all these decorations. I don't know what the fuck they're doing in here, but they're doing hey, something. I don't know nothing. I'm not. I'm not about it. You know. Yeah. Still trying very hard to find some guests. I'm just like I don't even fucking know who's worthy. Worthy. Mm-hmm. Nobody. Worthy. 
Yeah, what happened to that clown guy? We were gonna oh, yeah, up? so we messaged him and... Uh, Solf, what's his name? Solf Max Plus? Is that his name? I think something like that. It was... Uh, clown Bubby. Let's see here. There's a guy in Cincinnati. Soft Max Plus. He's like the clown figure. He's a clown. Yeah, I offered him to come and be on the pod today, but yeah, he said thank you for the offer, but I'm sorry. I don't think I can commit the time. Which means like he just doesn't have the time. I guess in between his normal nine to five and being a clown. clown shit. Yeah, he just can't commit the time. Well, he's gotten a lot of popularity now, so I'm sure he's been busy working oh, yeah. on content. I mean, he's mostly just fucking drinking beer and shit, but, but yeah. his likes have gone down recently, mm-hmm. so he's not getting as many likes. The first person to recognize me yet. Uh, that was pretty cool. He was nice about it. There's a child looking at me. He has a mullet. <laughs> I felt one drop. Yeah. I did, yeah. All right. I met one person who recognized yeah, I don't know much about this guy, but a lot of people in Cincinnati are following him, and uh, he's up at about 55K followers, and about 10 of them are people I know. Oh, even this dude follows him, the fucking white rapper guy. Oh, shit. That's how you know. That's how you know. Dang. Some real shit right there. That's crazy. Yeah, a bunch of comedians are following him. That's pretty interesting. So he's out there. He's popping up. He's doing something. I don't know jack about him, but must be a fun life putting on the clown costume every day. Apparently he's an author. I think he's just promoting his books. I don't know if that's a bit or not, but I'm pretty sure he makes books. Jeez. Uh, Looking at his links here, he looks like a normal guy. Not really, but Barnes & Noble. He's got books on Amazon, so we'll promote. He's got a $5 book called Parasociopath. That's his most popular. It's about... An incel who makes money catfishing old women. Damn. And he's serv- he's a sigma male living in an abandoned greenhouse. And he survives on Mountain Dew and frozen pizza. Damn. So, yeah. I could write something like this. 400 pages, that's pretty good. That's fucking mm. gnarly. Dark humor, paranoia, incest, revenge. Satanic vision of time. Hmm. So the guy's real name is Michael Sawan. Damn. We're just going to put that out there. He's got about, looks like maybe five books. Another book called When in Doubt. Detective solves mysteries with his dick. While lusty hotties collide in paradise. Jesus. He's a paid peeping Tom. And, um, yeah, so this guy is maybe more of the comedic type, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, pretty interesting. He's got some books out there. I'll give him props for writing some paperbacks, you know what I'm talking about. Not many people doing that shit these days. So we'll give him that. I might even buy a book. They sound pretty interesting. He seems to be putting in work. Each book, about 300 or so pages, so. He ain't just fucking jacking you off, so. Pretty cool guy. We'll see if we can get him on the pot. Probably not. Yeah, he's really fucking he's tight. He's busy. He's tight. He's tight. He's out there filming shit in front of the Justice Center and going to Northside. He's like drinking a beer. Dr- from he the drinks Justice. a lot of Miller High Life. That's his bit, so. It's like the beer of Northside. Shout out that guy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, other than that. Guests? I don't know about a guest. I don't know. It's Not for this pod. I mean, I'm, I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the vibe is for this pod. It could be like anything. It really is. It's like so mixed. It's like MMA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like everyone's got their own style on this podcast. It's like Joe Rogan's pod. Have a scientist. Have a magician. Fucking comedian. You never know. 
Yeah, I still. It's just hard for me to like brainstorm anybody. I'm just like, bro, who's who's actually something? Who's something on here? I don't know. Our one guy still wants us to bring a guy named Joe on the podcast. Yeah, Joe. I mean, I don't yeah. fucking. You think he still taps in your buddy Ben? I don't know. I'm really not entirely sure who's yeah. still here, still who can't is. get a good read on that guy. He's always just. He doesn't really say much. He'll just say, "Get Joe on the pod." Oh yeah. And we'll be like, who's Joe? And he'll be like, get Joe on the pod. So, yep. Shout out that guy, Ben. Mm. I don't know him. He knows the pod. What else is going on? You can't be fucking DMing people while we're talking here. No, I'm trying to just figure it out. So. Yep. One Went to the FC game this weekend. They lost, but it was a good vibe. Pretty cool. Doing a lot of shit. Hanging out. Checking out bars in the city. Going to different breweries. Checking those out. Because <coughs> unlike Cameron, I'm, I can drink. I'm not a drinker, but I can drink. Dang. I can drink. And, uh, yeah. Crazy. Yep. Stay off of those IPAs is what I've been told. Epa. Those things will fuck you. I never liked IPA, to be honest. They be honest with you. What else? Give us some juice. You can't be fucking iPhone in it. Mm, you want some juice? Yeah, give us some. All right. We got some juice. Give me a minute, I'll breach you on some juice. Yep, we're just gonna, you know. Let's read Trump's fucking social here. Um, Damn, Trump met Boris Johnson. That guy's always got fucked up hair. Former prime minister. He's still out there on the campaign trail. He's got some bandages on his ears these days. And he's got more support than ever before. J.D. Vance. Graduated Ohio State University in two years. He was in the fucking Marines. Hard-working man. Mm -hmm. He wrote a book. And, uh... Oh, he's going to be a good VP. I don't know. We'll see. Right now, it's, it's MAGA, MAGA 2024. And I don't care. If if you're voting Joe Biden, you're just retarded. Like, I don't care what your political opinion is. But, uh... Yeah. Unite America, he says. See if he's going to deny the call. He's with his chick. I'm trying to call our, t- our uh, Jamie. Jamie. Oh, he's probably n- fucking... Let's see if he wanted to do the bed of the week over the phone. But probably knees deep in it. Oh, I'm, I watched. Yeah, he's driving right now. He ain't going to answer his phone right now in CarPlay. It's like, from Cameron. And he's just like, oh, no, I'm not answering that right now. His that, chick's that, like, who's that? Who's that? Oh, dude, now they're just know, doing they're the, the podcast doing or something. something. Who did we bet on last week? Rockies. Yeah. Was it the Wednesday game? I think I don't it was. remember who. Yeah, it was we the took. Wednesday game. I don't remember who we took, but the Rockies won. Dang. Mm, the Reds. They're not playing till Friday. Yeah. We don't. All right. So with Friday's game with the Nationals. Reds versus the Nationals. Who's going to win? You're over here looking at memes. I love it. I was looking at some shit from the Enquirer. They don't know dick about nothing. Man, I wish this fucking um, FanDuel casino app worked in Cincinnati. I'd be gambling on that shit all day. FanDuel casino. Is that what it's called? Yeah. 
I'm going to check it out here. I was pretty hyped to spend some money until I realized it's only available in like oh, five states. Oh, it's only states. available in Michigan. No, I don't know if you remember. We were coming back Michigan, from Vegas. I Pennsylvania, downloaded the FanDuel New Casino Jersey, app. Jersey, West Virginia. I was, uh, I was playing hands of blackjack and ripping slots while we were in the plane uh, on the tarmac. Oh, waiting to yeah. come back to Cincinnati because it was legal up there and oh, I got yeah. like free shit. We were in Detroit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I love how you just can't get it here. Would be cool to play. We can only bet on sports. Damn. Gotta go all the way to fucking Michigan. Oh, yeah. Dude, just imagine fucking sitting in your bed just fucking slot machining out. Just spending all your money. That'd be pretty dope. That'd be pretty cool. Mm, but, yeah. Anything to add? Uh, let's see here. Nope. He's getting lost in the void. Yeah. Lost in the void. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, nothing too wild else other than that. Just, uh, like I said, we still. Very still right now. Yes, sir. Yeah, not much else. I'm really, uh, again, we caught up. We talked about caught what up. needed to be talked about this week. We gave you the Trump date. We gave you the Steve Raleigh. Talk. We gave you some juice. We talked about it we all. gave our opinions. Our gonzo point of view. The facts. The truth. Damn, we really are like a true fucking reporter. Mm -hmm. We really do just bring it out to people who need to hear it. You know. Damn. Those seven people that listen or whatever. Whew. I scared. feel like a lot of them tapped out the past season, this past year. Your brother hasn't been listening. I think just Hogan taps in. That's it. Damn. I don't know if Hurley. It's all right. We just need that one thing to happen. Mm. Maybe we should get, like, Kyle Raleigh on here. Call him up. Call him up. See what his POV. We'll He's just play it off like, hey, man, we're trying to defend you. Uh, hey, man. Yeah. He'll be like, dude, yeah, these people try to attack me. <laughs> he looks like that type of guy to be like, hey, dude. My fucking dad, the fucking weatherman, dude. You know how much fucking money we got? I wouldn't be too surprised if he was on the blow cane, too. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Like I said. He probably was a little tweaked up that night. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, how the fuck you think it's you're going to just get away with knocking some old fucks out? Unless your dad's the weatherman. Maybe you do get away with it. Wouldn't that be cool to see? We just like nothing happens to them; they're just good. Yeah. But I think this family's gonna fight for justice, and we got Facebook on our side. So, it'd be interesting to see how this progresses through the next week. Oh, we'll f we'll see the details as they come. It'd be interesting to see everything this year. How the election plays out. Mm. What other crazy events got to happen before, you know. Some oh, some more crazy shit's going to happen. Oh, it's going to We're like in that like time frame where it's like old people. They were yeah. like, World War II. They had that mm -hmm. happen. Others were like, Vietnam. Cold War. Cold War. Hide under your desk. Yeah, we had like, you know, fucking 9-11. We had like Afghanistan. Right all now, that shit. We just got like Facebook, TikTok war right now. Yeah, I mean, we had COVID. It's like COVID. all this shit happening. It's like something's going to happen again. Something, Something always think, happens. I think COVID like was too much for us. We were just like, nope, we ain't fucking with that shit no more. Mm. You can't control us. Never. Mm. Yeah, COVID real, really changed the people. It did. It did. But like I said, it ain't over. It ain't We're going to be here yet. to talk about it because shit's going to continue it to happen out yet. here. It ain't going to just be your daily, nightly shooting like no. another dead in fucking Winton Woods. Boone County. Yep. Claremont. Claremont. It's like, nah, there's going to be more shit happening, some off-the-wall shit. Mm -hmm. And we're always going to be here to talk about it. Give you the gonzo update. Mm. Yep. Well, what else? Is that it? 
this week, uh, yeah, I'm feeling like that's, I mean, I'm, I'm like, Dude. fuck, I'm good. Gave him some juice, we maybe gave too him that much juice. squeeze. Yeah. Squeeze it out. Oh, the, yeah. oh, there was one last thing. Uh, looks like uh, today, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was today. Let's see, let me scroll back here a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks, oh, that was yesterday. It looks like uh, Warner Brothers was in town filming the new Superman Legacy movie. They were filming at uh, Union Terminal uh, mm. for parts of the movie. And they were also filming in uh, the, uh, oh, fuck, what is it called? The Lytle Tunnel. Hmm. They also filmed in the Lytle Tunnel. There you go. Yep. Superman they, movie. Yep. Superman Legacy is being filmed here in Cincinnati. So, yeah, they filmed in the Lytle Tunnel for the upcoming Superman movie and also the... Uh, the Hall of Justice, the fictional headquarters for the Justice League, mm-hmm. was based on Cincinnati's Union Terminal, where they also filmed at. So the when that movie comes out, the Hall of Justice was actually based in Cincinnati's Union Terminal. Mm-hmm. The, the production is underway, and the movie is slated to premiere in summer of 25, so not till next year, folks. But pretty cool that the new Superman was filmed here, so I'm definitely going to have to remember that when it comes out. Mm. That's pretty cool. That was, like, the only other uh, really crazy news, man. We got it all out there. Yep. Trump got shot. J.D. Vance is going to be the next vice president with Trump. Uh, Raleigh shit. Belterra. Mm-hmm. Fucking, mm-hmm. yeah, we got well, it out there. That's it. That's it. That was a good week's worth of fucking come, updates. Come, come. So we got it. That's it. That's that. Mm. All right. All righty. All right. Peace.